we're ready to weld. We've set the machine up, got the wire on there, we've got the right tips, we're, we're ready to go. We've got the earth clamp on the work workbench, we've got a nice solid piece of steel plate so we don't warp the workbench. I've got SIG weld, MIG weld pliers there. Now we're going to talk about our safety. So I always wear safety, safety specs, even underneath a welding helmet, because you can get spatter it comes over the top. Better to have specs on. Clear safety specs also stop welding flashes. So if you've got your helmet up, someone else is striking an arc, this will stop you getting a full-on flash. A full-on flash is that it's literally a burn bubble on your eye. With these, you can't get that. You need to have a good welding jacket. Yeah, it's full length, comes up, tightens up, covers your neck from getting sparks down on your neck and down on the front of your shirt. Yeah. Additionally, you've got to have gloves. These are good full length cigarette welding gloves. They cover my cuffs so no hot sparks can get down there. I've got work boots on, good solid work boots. These are not work boots with laces on the front. Welding Sparks love laces, just letting you know. And I've got good heavy duty jeans, okay? And denim jeans are actually pretty non-flammable, believe it or not. They actually do resist a lot of little welding sparks. Okay, I've got a Sigma welding helmet. This is an automatic welding helmet. I've got it set to shade 11, which is just about the right shade I need. I've preset the uh, machine based on the on the uh, settings chart inside the cover of the machine for three mil steel plate. I'm ready to weld. Additionally to the personal protection we talked about earlier, you've got to make sure that your working environment is very safe as well. Welding creates hot sparks, known as spatter, and this spatter can run up to 10 metres away from your welding area. So you're going to make sure your floor has got no flammable materials, so no plastic containers, no fuel containers, no newspapers, cardboard boxes lying around. You don't want that in your work area. It's a good idea to have a fire extinguisher close by. I've got one here. It's a little car fire extinguisher. I always leave in my workshop. I also have a bucket of cold water underneath the workbench. It's a metal bucket because hot steel will melt plastic buckets. And I keep water in there so I can cool down the welding job after I finish welding. And what you don't want is to do a welding project, leave it on the bench and for little hands, your kids coming in, or friends, neighbours, and touching the job and getting burnt hands. Okay? We're ready to weld.